a revolutionary greetings comrades the labor movement in zimbabwe is beginning to unite beginning to engage in programs for the benefit of the workers in zimbabwe as the zimbabwe communist party will support such initiatives last week the labor forum met in arar <coughs> a very progressive meeting that happened. On the 16th of June, another meeting happened in Bulawayo, and there are other meetings that are planned as organized by the Labour Forum. As the Zimbabwe Communist Party, we support this initiative. Our role as a party at this stage is political education. We have been drawing up pamphlets that workers would use. We have uh, been working on our theoretical journal Vanguard. We have been assisting other unions in publishing their own bulletins. <clears throat> this is meant to assist in political education within the labor movement in Zimbabwe would also want to extend this to migrant workers in South Africa so that there is that uh, linkage between the labor movement in Zimbabwe and in South Africa, particularly migrant workers. We'll continue doing our best in providing political education and the one communist to be active in these labor forums. That can be in physical attending these meetings or in contributing articles in our theoretical journal, Vanguard, and also in the workers' bulletin in different trade unions that we are assisting. In 2019, January, we had an occasion to address the Congress of the Alma Kamete Rural Teachers Union of Zimbabwe. And we believe that uh, the speech that we delivered there is still relevant. So we'll be giving you snippets of that speech, about three minutes, three minutes. It was a 40 minute long speech because we know that work has a challenges in terms of data. So we'll be trying our level best to give you snippets of three minutes. Please listen for the next three minutes for this speech. Amanda Comrades.
also under the condition where teachers have been exploited. <coughs> uh, uh, under conditions where teachers uh, uh, no longer go on strike uh, for an increment, but they go on strike mm -hmm. just to be paid. We have an agreement which I believe we have discussed uh, how you had agreed with your employer what happened to the government on how you're going to pay to be paid, but the, the employer what happened to the government has a that. Most of the strikes that you have seen in you carrying out, you are not demanding an increment, but you are demanding a different way. So for you to convene uh, this Congress under these conditions, uh, 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 it means you are well organized. Congressly, when, when we met uh, 